I'm an American standing in Moscow, Russia. Here we go. Where are we right now? It looks to me like Disney World. My Russian wife has surprised me today and she has brought me to a place that the rumor has it is Russia's version of Disney World. It's all inside and she has arranged for them to open it up special for us before the general public enters this place. So we're going to get to go through it right now and inspect it and see what it looks like. Like in Disney World, I barely fit inside these vehicles. My legs are so big. I am from Florida. I have spent many years going to Disney World, so I'm going to be looking at this place with a critical eye with my two half-Russian children. Where am I? Lost in a hall of mirrors in Moscow, Russia. has decided to skip this ride. There's a knight in shining armor. Oh go, here we go. Does Russia look any different from your country? It's like a bridge over a dark river. Very nice. Svetlana Maxim! Looks like the pretend uh, electric fencing like in uh, Jurassic Park. How many roses are there? Can Kristoff lead us out of here? Maxim, you like this place? No? <laughs> and that is the Smurf section over there. They have Smurfs. You can see some there. You can see the mushroom houses. We went on a physically scary ride, and now we're going to go on a mentally scary ride into the castle. Okay guys, look at this. This is Moscow's theme park, their Russian Disney. You see it? Mm -hmm. And according to the internet, it is the largest indoor theme park in Europe. And I looked it up, it has no hotels, but it is on the metro system. The metro stop is on the other side of the parking lot. So it would be like when you're at Disney World and you take the monorail to the Magic Kingdom, the monorail goes right up to the front of the park. And in Russia, they have a metro system that goes right up to the front of the park. So you don't need a hotel there, you can go to a hotel anywhere. Sound good? Mm. And the name of this place is Dream Island, not Pleasure Island, which is good news, because that means you won't turn into a donkey. Okay, does it look like Disney yet? Huh? They're playing music loudly outside, just like they do in Disney World. so far. I mean, look at all of this. So it says this area is London, I think, and Barcelona is behind me. 
So the problem with theme parks is you have to build them where the weather is good almost year round so that you can you know, sell tickets year round. But Russia is a cold place, so they have just built basically, it looks like something like a massive shopping mall and you've got you know, glass ceiling everywhere. And I assume somewhere in the back here, they're gonna have the indoor theme park. So, you know, in order to control the weather, they just put everything inside. So I'd be curious to see, you know, how big it is since it's all indoors. So it looks like a roller coaster they haven't turned on yet that goes outside the theme park area and through the mall, I'm guessing. Kristoff getting his special entry pass before all the other children in Russia. Maxine too. So I'm very excited to see this. I know it sounds silly because I'll be 50 soon. Um, but I grew up in Florida, which is where Disney World is. And so as an American kid, you watch all the Disney movies and you're often going to Disney World. And it is just the best all-inclusive family theme park resort place I've ever been to. If you haven't been, I can't describe it well enough. Um, it's as amazing as it is to go see Moscow for the first time and see how wonderful it is. Uh, so many resorts, so many theme parks, so much to do. It's so big and beautiful and, you know, it's like hopefully positive brainwashing that you go... <laughs> what, Maxime? Oh, Maxime found a bear. So it was kind of a, a cost I was counting to move to Russia and not get to go to Disney World anymore. I know it sounds silly, guys, but it's just kind of my my childhood that I didn't want to leave behind. What? Maxime found another bear. Oh yes, there it is. So I'm hoping that maybe Russia has something like it now. Yeah, I've been wanting to go to this place where we've been so busy. It's been over two years and we still haven't made it. So we'll see what it's like. Maxime, what do you think? Is it cool? Oh wow, clowns. So concession stand made to look like a circus. Maxime is the most excited today. Wow, oh, Boratina. So it's Russian Pinocchio. So this is like the, um, the guy that kidnaps Pinocchio. It's the same in the Russian version. Oh, yeah. I'm very happy to see how happy Maxime is because he's so little. I didn't know how important this would be to him. Oh, yeah. Big ride. It's a pirate ship. What? Oh, yeah. A lot of rides. Okay, so indoors, it's made to look like an indoor castle for the, the main entrance, it looks like. Giroi. Giroi? Ah, cherry paha, turtles? Okay, so it's my first recognizable, well, there's Hello Kitty. So I got Ninja Turtles and Hello Kitty. I was wondering what theming they would have here. They've taken us in a side entrance here, and so it looks like some sort of dino land. They want us to ride this ride first. Um, Sveta, what do you think? Uh, it's great so far. It's like just like in Orlando, but it's inside. Because you so came, you, you spent almost a decade in America yeah. going to Disney World. It's almost exactly the same. I mean, it's different theme, different pieces, but it's, it's wonderful. It's great. So you can see it's just like a massive uh, warehouse type building. And I guess it's made to look like night sky, sort of. Um, and yeah, I'd agree with Sveta, except for the fact that it's indoors. They're definitely doing a good job. Um, it'd be interesting to see what it's like when it's crowded and everything's turned on. Um, what, Maxime? So, so Maxime, you know, he's five now. So for him, this is like his first Disney experience, because although he went to Disney, I don't think he really remembers. All right, son, what do you think? Uh... It's, uh, it's like 
Disney World, just it's inside. So they've got dinosaurs here, little walkways over the water, and they've got netting so no one falls through. Stu? Oh, wow, it's a Jeep. Oh, go, Shir Khan. So they just turned on the Jeep ride for us, it looks like. Maxim, Tirad? I hear dinosaurs. We have a cameraman following us in the car ahead. Should I, should I be afraid? Is someone spying on me? I am an American, not in America. Maxim, to be a Ivica. I'm very impressed for an indoor park. This is great. Kristoff, you're unimpressed? Kristoff, you're not scared, are you? No. I want to eat that dinosaur. You want to eat the dinosaur? Yes. It probably would be tasty, I'm guessing. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Probably tastes like an alligator. Looks like we did it, guys. Fantastic. Behold, exit. Russia is like America? It's King Kong, I guess. Okay, so we left the dinosaur area. It looks like this is some sort of dark, gothic, Eastern European country. Something like Halloween, I dare say. Although I know Russians don't like Halloween. So I did notice that uh, they've got the Adam Sandler monster cartoon movies here. Um, and so maybe that's what this is. Maybe it's a ride for that, I'm not sure. Um, so they have um, different franchises you would recognize, uh, but not necessarily Disney. Um, in fact, I'm sure probably not Disney because that's probably the most expensive franchise to buy for your park. It's probably not even for sale. Stoeta, Mox. Oh yeah, Luna, Moon. I see the bats flying around it. So they're floating in the sky, so that's very cool. Beautiful Hello. castle. So this is the film crew my wife has lined up uh, that's following us around, or rather they, they're from another um, channel and they're doing a story on us. So that's how uh, she has gotten access into this park. Uh, Sveta negotiated with them that they could film us here, but they needed to get us in. Um, when no one else was here, so that was her her request for us to come because she doesn't want a bunch of crowds. Uh, she doesn't want to be around a bunch of crowds uh, in this day and age in Russia. So that looks like a more traditional style castle. Seda doesn't like crazy rides. She's making sure this ride's not crazy. <laughs> oh wow. Here goes Kristoff. Hold on, hold on. I, I think I have to get next to you. What do you think so far? I'll ask you after the ride. They recommended I put my camera away for this ride and it got a little crazy, a little fast. So if you don't like crazy rides, don't ride this one. Uh, Sveta was not happy. In case you're wondering, yes, they have bathrooms and this is what the bathrooms look like. Maxim is washing his hands like a good little boy. So if this is your first time joining us, we are a international family. Some Americans, some Russians, some both. Uh, husband, wife, five kids, and we're here today with two of them. Uh, we moved to Moscow 
from America, from Florida, eight days before the special military operation. Of course, we didn't know that was going to happen. The world was going to change. And so now we do this channel in English, um, trying to show the West that Russia is a normal place to try to uh, end the Cold War sooner if we can. This is really nice detail. I like this walkway. There she goes. Looks like we're going on a scary ride. Oh, wow. Very cool. So I'm not an expert of this film franchise, but I have seen it at least once. And this looks like, I think, the lobby to the hotel in the cartoon. So we're going back out because they wanted to film us walking in. Well, behind the scenes secrets this is how you make videos, some stuff you repeat. I think this is going to be a copy of the Haunted Mansion in Florida, Sveta. That's my guess. Not an exact copy, but the style. Oh, go into the elevator, into the lift. Looks scary. Sure. Is that Adam Sandler? Does this look like a ride in your theme park? <laughs> Would you bring your Western children here? <laughs> Is Russia a scary place? Is this ride too much for Sveta? Is it too much for Maxime? And look at that, the exit has a gift shop, just like in a theme park in America. You have to go through the gift shop to get out. And don't get me wrong, I understand that um, in the 2020s, uh, Disney is not a company that appears to be for traditional family values. Russia is, and my family is, I am for traditional family values. But I can still appreciate uh, what Disney is uh, from my childhood, and I can still enjoy the older films with my kids. And it's really cool to see that Russia has something like this, Moscow has something like this, that we could visit from time to time. Some reindeer, looks like um, something from Frozen, I would say. It looks like we're going into a, a princess type ride. Need to hurry up here. A house of mirrors. Need to make sure I don't walk into a piece of glass. Oh, very cool, huh, guys? Is this your first time doing something like this? Wow. I don't think Disney has this, to be, to be fair. Am I going to be ill? Are you ill? Can Kristoff get us out of here? I am starting to get dizzy. We made it out! Thanks, Kristoff! All right, so, could we say well, they have a castle for boys and a castle for girls here? Okay, so this section looks like um, the City Walk parts of Disney, uh, where you'd have like restaurants and things, and of course has a tropical theme. Can you smile? 
A roller coaster. My butt barely fits into the seat. Seriously, it's it's tight. So they're putting some sort of virtual thing on our face. What'd you say? Da. I don't I can't understand you. I don't you don't need to. You just pretend that you're flying through space. City space flying! Yeah! All right! Christoph liked it. Maxine was about to cry. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. Oi. Максим, а тебе вроде не понравилось? Нет. Почему? Максим, почему? Страшно было? Да. So, in all seriousness, we have just hit a milestone with this show. We are 18 months old, and we have crossed the 50,000 subscriber mark, which is a great victory for us. And as you know, there are links below if you want to make financial donations to help us out because we are definitely not, as a business, able to financially uh, support ourselves with this. So anything you can do is helpful. But even more than that, which is free, would be clicking like, share, or subscribe. Here we go, Kristoff. Slowly spinning faster and faster. Ah, just relaxing here, spinning around like crazy over and over again. I don't feel ill at all. We'll go fast now. Thank you, Kristoff, for steering so well. This is my, my dream vacation. To be spinning round and round inside giant cupcakes. So this is their Hello Kitty ride that we just experienced. They've got signs everywhere. This looks like New York City style. Um, I believe this is for their Ninja Turtles ride. And um, just like Disney, you've got the road and you've got the sidewalk and you can walk on either one. Pretend street and sidewalk. Okay, that looks like the main entrance that we didn't come in. So this has the grill that a tree would need to get water into the soil. But this tree is completely fake. We've got nice balconies. I wonder if those are for people to actually eat off of or if that's just decoration. This looks like it's a small world after all, this section. He's brave. He stuck his hand in it. Oh, yeah. Okay, Kristoff, tell us, in general, what do you think of this place compared to Disney World? Uh, uh, it's the same. The Haunted Castle Ride, how does that compare to the Haunted Mansion? Uh, the Haunted Mansion, uh, not... Uh... It's more scary than other than this. Oh, so the one here is not so scary. Yeah. You know, you're probably right. There is kind of some disturbing stuff in the Haunted Mansion ride, that's for sure. And Haunted Mansion, uh, there was not no light. Oh, yeah, uh, it's darker. Yeah, yeah. So is your mom doing a good job behind you? I think so. <laughs> Is your mother like other mothers? I don't know. I see 
gargoyles. So that's a second haunted looking castle here. And I see, I see and smell different kiosks with food. That says popcorn in yeah. Russian. You know who that is on the sign over my head? That wooden boy there. Kristoff and I are sneaking into one more <laughs> ride before we leave. It looks like it's kind of scary, so no Maxime. What do you think, son? Uh, I think it will be scary. Oh, yeah? So some sort of gargoyle castle of some kind. So maybe this is going to be more like the Haunted Mansion ride. Just like in America, it's a haunted house. this section this is the Hollywood section We've got palm trees We've got Hollywood looking star characters а есть только ну не бешеные как та краска а ну которая 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 немножко страшненькая но ну нет so what do you think of Russia what do you think of Moscow is it a scary place would you come here would you vacation here would you bring your children here? Does Russia have theme parks that are good enough for you? Does it rival America's theme parks? Is Russia what you thought it was? Is Moscow what you thought it was? Click like, subscribe, click the share button right now, interrupt my speech, send this to your friends. Follow us on Telegram, the link is below, and click the box to see what happens next. Would you live here? to see. Okay. You seem like a man, yeah? I see a blonde guy with a young person's haircut. Hooligan. 